Hey, happy Sunday and welcome back to NC State Dendrology. Greetings from my backyard or front yard in Wake County, North Carolina. I'm uh, solidly in the Piedmont in North Raleigh and I'm coming to you today with a beautiful specimen of one of my favorite coastal trees. This is Esculus pavia or red buckeye. And I just made a video recently about Esculus sylvatica. That's our Piedmont species of buckeye. But Esculus pavia is a small tree. It's more of a tree form than a shrub, so it's usually a single stem. And red buckeye is getting a lot more attention now as a garden plant. It's absolutely gorgeous in spring. Um, and to identify it, so this looks, so vegetatively, it is very difficult to tell the buckeyes apart. Um, we have three buckeyes in North Carolina. Esculus pavia, this buckeye, is red buckeye, that is from the coastal plain and actually southeastern North Carolina. Uh, I don't see recordings of it north of Carteret County, which doesn't mean that it's not there, but it's not in our collections there, it hasn't been documented there. And then we have our Piedmont species of buckeye, which is Esculus sylvatica. It has the kind of more of a shrub form, so more of a multi-stemmed, even though it could be quite large. And then in the mountains, we have Esculus flava, which is yellow buckeye, and this gets to be an enormous canopy tree. So red buckeye, you can tell all buckeyes because they are one of our few, um, maybe only woody species that has palmately compound opposite leaves. And so um, I'm gonna post, a, I did a time series this spring of this exact stem of red buckeye because I was curious to see how those big fat buds that it has in fall unfold and how many leaves that it has inside of it. And so, um, this is the main stem of our buckeye, and you can see there's two things that have come out here, two um, young stems. And what's tremendous to me is that if I look at this entire green stem right here, including this beautiful raceme, this entire thing was inside of one of those buds. So it's just incredible. So that's, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of these big compound leaves. And when I'm talking about palmately compound, let me take one off here, right? So this entire thing is the leaf. So it's a compound leaf. The bud is located right here and the leaf is attached just below the bud. And then it has these um, leaflets. And so they're in a palmate leaf arrangement, meaning they all originate from this single point. Um, where so Escu these species of buckeyes don't generally overlap geographically but there is a little bit of overlap between Esculus sylvatica and Esculus pavia especially because since pavia is so beautiful with these red flowers it um, has been planted in the Piedmont I mean I couldn't resist my mom gave me this one um, and where they overlap in range they can have more of these peach color flowers I've seen a lot of Esculus pavia that's like a pure red but it's possible that um, some of the pollination is happening from Esculus sylvatica in the Piedmont. And so what we end up with is the, are these beautiful flowers in ray seams that are um, kind of a peachy color, right? So they've definitely got the red for Esculus pavia, but they also have a little bit of the yellow. One of the things I love about this plant and what makes it a great garden plant is that it is some of the first nectar that is available to hummingbirds as they come back into our area. Um, you know, so this, this is a tree, I think I mentioned this when um, I made my Esculus sylvatica video. This is a tree that leaves out really early. So in Piedmont, North Carolina, I'm starting to see leaves of Esculus sylvatica at like April 1st and it's like magical. It's all through the woods um, at our local state parks. And this is a little bit later flowering, but um, still some of the earliest, you know, the hummingbirds love these individual tubular flowers um, and so I love sitting out on my front porch with a cup of coffee in the morning and listening for the buzz of their wings as they um, come visit these flowers. So this is a hummingbird feeder that you don't need to be really careful about cleaning out or disinfecting or anything like that. Um, so I really highly recommend this and I think it's a plant that is more in demand um, just as people recognize what a, what a beautiful and showy plant that it is. So this is Esculus pavia red buckeye in the hippocastanaceae family, horse chestnut family, and this is NC State Dendrology.